My name is Ankur Gupta. I head sales and marketing here at Bitwise. And with me, I have Shahab Kamal, who is EVP of solutions here at Bitwise. We are a technology solution and services company. So we work a lot with major financial organizations, among others, whether it is healthcare, retail, marketing, gaming, startups, or Fortune 50 companies. We have clients in all of the sizes. Our focus is in the data management, data warehouse area. And the technology has grown over 20 years. So I could say to a certain extent that we've seen it all. We've seen the appliances time when industries were focusing big time on bringing in the large appliances into it to now moving more to open source ecosystem. In all these areas, we fit in really, really nicely because they all are related to the data and data management, data quality, data cleaning, cleansing, integration, all of it. We had services around all UTL products. We're supporting all of them. And we understood the commonality across all UTL products. Every ETL tool we saw had this semantic layer at the top, which made calls to the compute layer. And compute is where the transforms occur. Now, when you're switching ETL tools, you're bringing in a new compute layer. Why should you not be able to transfer this semantic layer that stitches together these compute components? So what we did was, we built this super size, super set of all ETL products in a semantic canonical format in XML based database. The second step was we build parsers which could parse the ETL at the semantic layer, at the XML layer, and bring the ETL flow in an XML format into this database that we built. And then third, what we did was we built these translate tables into the same database where we build these translations for ETL functions across to the target ETL product. And then we wrote a parser which would read this ETL in the database, into the what we call the core of the function, do the read the translate table to find the right ETL tag in the target and construct the XML representation of the ETL in the target ETL product. And the final step is you just import this XML into the target ETL product. So ETL is not going away, it's just changing its form. And that's where this need has occurred to rewrite all your ETL, which was written 15, 20 years ago, into this new age ETL product, which operates much better into this Hadoop based ETL lake. You know, if you're going to do the re-engineering, why not move it to a new ETL product, which is built for this new environment? So that's why we are seeing this renewed interest in this last two years in our ETL converter. We in the last two years, I also saw that there's a ton of Toad packages in EL SQL, in Oracle databases, T-SQL in SQL Server, that is interfering with the processing done by an ETL product. So if you have, say, Talent as an ETL product, and you also have all these EL SQL stored packages written a long time ago, and now how do you find the data lineage? Because part of the transform is done in Talent, that is easily traceable. What about this sword package comes in in the middle of the night and it transforms the data on your database? How will you keep track of that? That's number one. Number two, maintaining these stored packages is always a pain. And we, you know, any organization we talk to, they're like, we would be so happy to get rid of them. So we look to extend our ideal conversion capability to a PL SQL or a T SQL stored package. We built a PL SQL script analyzer which looks at the script and creates a flow of the ETR in a visual format. And that itself, you've seen so many of our customers be impressed with because for the first time you're looking at what this code is actually doing. We partnered with Capital One to build an ETR product that is built ground up natively inside of Hadoop. So what we did is again, the same thing as any ETL. It has a compute fabric, a compute layer, and a semantic layer. Everything was built as a reusable component in effect, we created an ETL product inside of Spark, inside of MapUse on the Hadoop ecosystem. As long as you have Spark, it can sit on any implementation. It can be on the cloud, it will sit on the Edge node, on your on-prem, it will sit on the Edge node, on the cloud, on AWS, on GCP, wherever your Hadoop data lake is, it is just going to sit on the Edge node. And we slapped a developer UI on top of everything. So instead of writing an XML manually, now you're doing a drag and drop of an icon for a particular ETL function. So what we have given is a ETL-like front end that resembles any other ETL product. 
and the mindset of the ETL developer has not changed, but they are creating code that executes on Spark in your Hadoop cluster. So we went about building a easier environment where you can test your ETLs with accuracy. And that's what we call Quality Eye. So what Quality Eye does is it can read your ETL mapping document, which has a source and the target fields, and it auto generates the SQL code required to do a data dump from the source and the target database. It has pre-built test templates that can do table comparison, column comparison, comparison on aggregation, comparison on deal truncation, all kinds of things that an ETL is able to perform. It's got pre-built templates for that. So once you have the source and the target data, you can pick and choose what use cases you want to pick from these pre-built templates and execute them. Quality Eye has a MongoDB backend. When you execute a use case, it will read the source data into the MongoDB backend. It will read the target data into the MongoDB backend. And based on the templates that were picked, it will do the comparison and generate a report that either tells you that the source to target mapping that you initially started the test case with is satisfied with the comparison of the source and target data after the ETL was run, or it can tell you that here are the errors we came across. We have been a solution and services company. Pick a problem in the data area and we'll come in, suggest a solution, and then implement that solution. 